Chapter 31 The Mind of Christ is Sacrificial Love Contrary to what we believe, love comes from the mind of Christ and the mind of man, and not from the heart of man. For what is love but a choice of the mind? And greater love has no one than this, that one lay down his life for his friends. John 15 and 13 For the greatest love of all is that God sent his only Son, and by his love he sacrificed his blood for the redemption of mankind. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life, so that I may take it again. No one has taken it from me, but I lay it down on my own initiative. I have authority to lay it down, and I have authority to take it up again. John 10 and 17 And what does it mean to love? Recall the words of Moses before Christ's coming. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Deuteronomy 13 6 Yet recall the faithful words of Christ. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Matthew 22 and 37 For by the sacrifice of his blood on the cross, the triune of God's graces now is complete. Faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. 1 Corinthians 13 and 13 The mind of the Lord is infinite and impassable, beyond the expanses of the universe and deeper than the thoughts of our mind. How unsearchable are his judgments and unfathomable his ways. For who has known the mind of the Lord? Who? Romans 11 and 33 and the Lord searches the depths of our minds, for he understands every intent of our thoughts. 1 Chronicles 28 and 9 But contrary to the mind of man, the mind of the Lord remains unchanged, for he is not a man that he should change his mind. 1 Samuel 15 and 28 Thus the words of the prophecy shall be fulfilled, for the prophets of old foretold. For this the earth shall mourn, and the heavens above be dark, because I have spoken, I have purpose, and I will not change my mind, nor will I turn from it. Jeremiah 4 and 28 For the mind of man has been subject to the mind of Satan and the flesh of this world, and the mind of the flesh is at enmity with God. Romans 8 and 7 And even the prophets, martyrs, and saints were born as children of the flesh and were by nature children of wrath even as the rest Ephesians 2 and 3 And to those who have refuted the mind of Christ were given to them the mind of flesh and God gave them over to a depraved mind to do those things which are not proper being filled with unrighteousness, wickedness, greed, evil, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, malice. They are gossips, slanderers, haters of God, insolent, arrogant, boastful, inventors of evil, disobedient to parents, without understanding, untrustworthy, unloving, unmerciful. Romans 1 and 28 And the leaders of this world have a mind of perdition, Adopting a language of perversion and derision. Proverbs 17 and 20. Yet they forget these words of wisdom. The mind of man plans his ways, but the Lord directs his steps. Proverbs 16 and 9. And on September 11, 2001, the beast from the sea, through the mind of a man, was given the power of Satan. Daniel 7 and 4. And on May 25, 2007, the beast from the earth was given the mind of Satan. And the beast devised their evil plans to destroy the nations, for they abhorred the mind of our Lord and given their minds to Satan.
Psalms 83 and 4. For who has known the mind of the Lord that we should instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. 1 Corinthians 2 and 16. For those who call upon the Lord through the mind of Christ, the Lord will instruct. Psalms 16 and 7. And by the mind of Christ, we are no longer conformed to the flesh, but are transformed by the renewing of our minds. Romans 12 and 2. And no longer do we set our minds on this earth, but look forward to the heavens and to the treasures above. Colossians 3 and 2. And by being transformed by the mind of Christ, we have become one mind and with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 15 and 5. And over the span of two times, time, times, and half a time, Daniel 12 and 7, the prophecy shall be fulfilled. And mankind will be one mind with the Lord, for the mind of Satan and the flesh will be forgotten. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former things will not be remembered or come to mind. Isaiah 65 and 17 And a new Jerusalem and kingdom will be established, and its shepherds will feed its people with knowledge and understanding. And the Ark of the Covenant will be no more, for God will dwell in our presence and his goodness will be among all nations forevermore. Jeremiah 3 and 15 For there are three that testify, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood, and the three are in agreement. 1 John 5 and 7 